Hey, hello, how are you doing tonight? So here's a fact that's little known right there. Two years. See this home right there? That's where I'm gonna be living in two years. I'm gonna be living in that home. Or you're not gonna be on the earth anymore, period, mom and dad. Okay, why? I'm gonna tell you why. Okay, you gotta hear me out on this. Now listen to me, I'm not threatening you. I'm telling you why. Okay, so this there, what do you see here? And employment news, you are who you hang out with. It's hard to soar like an eagle when you hang out with turkeys, okay? That doesn't mean the turkeys are bad. Turkeys have tryptophan and turkeys have them there. Now the suffering, the suffering is just that, the suffering. Why do we suffer? We are suffering because basically you people, I'm blaming you, Edgar Eschanko, and the Boyle family, and all these other scumbags like Nurse Michelle that won't get off her fat ass and just admit that they're sitting there watching people go through the cycle of getting tortured with crystal meth back and forth. They clean out a crystal meth, they're all achy, and then they're back on crystal meth. Then they're cleaning out of it, and that's the suffering, and that's just what the church is promoting. See, in less than two years, that white Lexus, that station wagon Lexus, I'm going to be driving a Lexus. Why? Because I'm going to teach you to be afraid of me, and you're going to start giving me all your money. And if you don't give me all your money and you don't help me, I'm going to start killing you for real this time. And I'm not playing games with you. I'm not fucking get, I'm not playing games with you, mom. I'm telling you for real. If you do not start getting my money to me and start giving me my money and start giving me the respect that I deserve, you're not getting any more respect from me. Now, I don't need to talk to Paul Walters. Paul Walters has earned my respect. Paul Watson, I don't need to talk to Paul Watson. He went right down to Antarctica, got shot in the chest fighting battles. Where was Uncle Rod? I didn't see you down there, Uncle Rod, but I saw Paul Watson down there. You come back here, you motherfuckers. And they shot him, and so these guys went out with a whaling gun. They whaled onto his boat, tagged up onto him, and Paul let off on the throttle and just put her in fucking neutral. And went right after them, and they fucking reel him in, and fucking, boy, you should have seen they had their hands up begging in fucking Japanese and English, crying. People were praying, licking the side of the boat. I'm going to do worse to you. I'm going to make you fucking eat your own feces if you do not fucking get through your fucking head that you need your fucking heads red. You need to go to the hospital for your fucking behaviors, Edgar. Now listen, I have a lady by the name of Jasmine that's a banker. Now I have proof in the Bible that she's stealing my money. She's stolen $7,000 from me. I've went to the fucking fraud department. I've been going to the fraud department since I was in Alberta Hospital. Remember when I got locked up illegally because the pedophile Oakley family the ancestral garbage Oakley family. Do you remember why I got locked up? Because of them. That's right. And what did I do to deserve that? Nothing. That's right, mom. You're learning now. Welcome to the real school of I am going to earn the $5,000 that you stole from me. And we're going to get me back to $6,000, $7,000 that Jasmine stole her. She's losing her job. And we're going to get to where you guys are on a level where I will let you hang out with me. Where I will choose to talk to you. Instead of going, fuck you, pedophile. Admit. If you do something wrong, you admit right away. I was born. I'm not going to admit to doing anything wrong. My nose is broken because of Cameron Semple and because of Rob Freeman. Because he sat there and lied to Cameron Sample about what was really going on. So Rob Freeman's nose is going to be broken in less than three days. I'm going to bend his nose right around his face. Capiche? Number two, Enrico Bussini at 118th Avenue Trading Post. We're going to be filing a claim because I walked in there with a $250 Sheffield knife set and his fucking... His Chinese guy working there tried to buff me off. Oh, it's not even worth See, I can get it for there on $25. I said, what is it? He said, it's a heritage Sheffield. I said, oh my goodness. It's not just a Leatherman, mom. It's a surgical steel. And I'm not talking steel. I'm talking cut your balls off. In less than three seconds, I could cut your nuts off with this knife. 
top of the line Sheffield. Best you can get out there. $250. Try to Jew me to give me $10. I turn around and said, you fucking listen here, you cocksucking wops. And I just fucking walked right all over them. Walked right all over that fucking pawn shop. And nobody did nothing. Because they saw. And they heard. And they understood how scumbaggy they really are. Same as Bill Jameson. I'm working with Bill Jameson. Who is this fucking bum? This Bill Jameson. What a fucking piece of shit. I help him take a fucking fridge out to this property. And I get the fridge on these. I go, I only got $100. I'm going to have to knock 15 off your pay because we damaged it. And I said, we didn't even have to take the doors off the fridge. See, when I tell Bill what to do, he won't listen to me. He wouldn't have lost a fucking penny on that fucking fridge set if he'd have listened to me. But he won't listen to me. And then, you owe money. And he's all drunk. And I'm like, come over here and tell me that I owe you money. And watch what happens when I ram those fucking brand new teeth down your throat. I don't owe you fuck all. You owe me $30. And he owes me actually another 10 on that. But I told him I would take 10 off for that. Why the fuck is everybody screwing me around? Do I come off as a fucking jerk? I don't need to earn the right to hang with you people. You need to earn the right to hang with me. You used hockey tape on my eyebrows. When I told you I'm really different, mom, something's not right with me. Somebody did something to me. Oh, no, no, that's just full of shit. And then you, you, you're running away. You did not drink, mom. Somebody fed you alcohol when you were pregnant. Simple. And stop banging around up there too all the time. I'm getting tired of that. Tell people how you feel. You don't like what they're doing. They think they can just punk you off. Then you tell them, hey, you know, show some respect. So if you want respect from me, you're going to have to start giving me money. And why? Because you owe me money. I have more than earned your money. My license. When I was in BC, I drove for how many years did I drive? 13 years with no accidents? Without a license? How is that possible to drive for 13 years on the same license plate? Same old me driving around, backing in, taking everybody, doing all the errands. How is that? That that's possible? That you're going to disrespect me? You're not going to disrespect me, Opa. You're going to look at my videos. If I can't get you with my eyes, I'm going to use other people's eyes to get you. I'm going to get you, though. You listen to me, you little homo. I'm not playing games with you people. I am done giving respect to people that don't deserve respect. I babysat Harmony. I did what you did all the time. I said, I'm getting tired of what dad does. I says, why don't you take a look? What do you think of this, Harmony? She was like, whoa, I don't think I want to look. I said, you already did look. I started laughing. I don't think I want to look. And I started laughing. I covered up. I said, oh, give it a rest. I said, no, and I know you watch. You're going to go and tell my mom. You're going to say, oh, he did this and he did that. And blah, blah, blah. and what did she do? She went and did exactly what I said she was going to do. I was going to, why would you even do that? Why don't you tell mom to tell dad to stop exposing himself to us all the time? Why don't you tell him why, ask him why he had somebody sew my pubic bone into my guts? Why don't you ask the real questions, Harmony? Ask him that. Why did you fuck my pubic bone up? I'm going to fuck you up. You don't have a pubic bone anymore. How's that little stub going in yours nowadays? Doesn't work so good, does it? Well, you want to know why? Hi, Mom. Yeah, I love you very much. You're going to start loving me. Yes, that's 118th Avenue, Edmonton. That will be the Scotia Bank. Now you're going to phone Shirley Talib. I don't care who you're going to do. You're going to go through the fraud department. You go to Uncle Rod. You're going to get the police and you're going to get my money back. If you do not do that for me, I am going to literally come unglued and I'm going to hunt the whole family down and I'm going to end the entire family. How I look like you when I get upset, Mom, or when I'm serious. I'm not playing games. You, what comes around goes around, Mom. Do you understand? What you're doing to me is going to be done back to you. Look at my eye. Do you want to have an eye like that? You want to walk around smiling like that, 
your one eyebrow hanging down, drooling, with a fucking stoma pouch, smelling like shit and piss, puking all day long, full of guile and evil thoughts while people make you talk about raping people all day long. And then see how you fucking like being like that. We're not put here to live like that, Michelle. Oh, I love you just the same. Whatever, man. Why? And then she goes out and licks Miranda's snatch. Fuck off. Gross. Pardon my language, mom. And we do swear. People that tell the truth, tell the truth. Same as Heidi one night running around. I grabbed her. I threw her down. I put her on the table and I pushed her down. And I got behind her and I humped her a couple of times. I smacked her and I got down on her. I said, where are you going? So I'm going with you, big boy. Okay, okay. I'll slow down. And then she sat right on my lap and she did not misbehave for the rest of the night. And she did come home with me. You see how that works? And she didn't get an STD. And we didn't sleep with each other. But when I put her down, she, okay, okay, Papa, I know, you know, I know what's going to happen. Okay, yes, you can give me a kiss. Okay, that's good. See? Now, but you people got to look past that. Those are godly moments. See, we see that. Heidi sees it. I see that. There's been a lot of times where Heidi said, Ian, move on. I'll show you how it's done. You listen to me, and then, oh, holy freaking wow, man, that's how it's done. Yeah, and so you get shit done, and I laugh, and Heidi just chew into these people. So why do you got people putting acid in my food? Why do you got people fucking putting gall in my coffee? And why are you people like that? You're really, really fucked up in the head. You guys need, you got to, you need help. Uncle Rod is watching. Every time you even think of scratching your crotch, mom, Uncle Rod knows. You even think one, you even think of thinking bad about me. Uncle Rod knows a mile before you do. See, these people know he is telling you this. Stop running away to Mexico. You're not going to solve your problems. You did not earn the right to go down to Mexico, mom. You haven't earned that right. I am getting the shit kicked out of me every day with sarin gas. They're using harps on me to make me talk about raping people while they're trying to take my eye out, I might add. You haven't earned your right to go on holidays until you have done what you're supposed to do for your kids. You don't let people pick on your children. And if somebody picks on you, Ma, they're going to have a bad week. I'm going to make their week just horrific. But I'm not going to sit there while you run around bumholing people and then sitting there telling me I got to learn how to be gentlemanly like. How the hell can I be any more gentlemanly like? Why don't you start fucking opening up the pay books to me? Give me the money that's owed to me. Well, what do we owe you money for? Um, all the deet that you've been using on me. You owe me money for that. All the acid that you put in my food. What about all those days? Or did you forget about those days? Well, we'll just see what Ian thinks of this. Really? Maybe I didn't want to do a whole fucking squid load of acid. Maybe I didn't want to turn that guitar up. 300 watts kicked in to 3,000 watts, played through a 25,000 watt amplifier. I kicked it open and I blew the windows out of this apartment building. I completely blew the windows. They just come right off the hinges and just melted. And I started playing and I just was melting. And I, when I would come to, I was sweating and I was trembling and Everywhere I could see, all of the Nanaimo was lit up with headlights. Everybody was watching me and they were cheering and yelling, King James, rock, King James, more. And then so I just kept playing and I played and then finally the cops showed up and, whoa, you got to turn that down. And I was like, holy, for three hours I was tripping on acid. Who the fuck fed me all the acid, mom? Where did that come from, Edgar? <laughs> I'm in trouble again. No, yeah, you are in trouble again. You answer mom and ask mom where you got all that acid from and how I got all that acid in my system. Why don't you start answering the questions she asks you? Not the questions you think she wants, the answers you think she wants. She doesn't want to know nothing about that. She already knows your butt fucking stinky ass Mexicans. Gross assholes should be fed to the sharks. That's not what she wants to know. She wants to know why you are not getting the House of Commons in order for me. 
I T lied. Okay, Lee Fry lied to you people. Vic Hot has my testimony. I went to the Hot's residence because Shirley Tracy was trying to harm me. Who the fuck phones the police when I said Martin? I'm getting fucked tonight. I'm going out. There's three squaws and I'm going to take each one one on one and I'm going to bone all of them down. No, you're full of it. I said, I need the van, Martin. I'm going out donkeying, man. Come on. Oh, man, you promise you're not going to wreck the van? No, no, no. I said, I'll be all good. And so I went out there and so I did my bit. I did my donkeying on them and I got all screwed up and then I hopped out and I was clean, sober, had a cup of coffee, even jumped in the van and there comes Shirley. The fucking head like holy fuck I'm like fuck right off Shirley man no so I took off behind the thing so I said fuck it and then I hear my head Vic Ian come here come here come here Ian come down this road Vic was telling me where to drive Vic hot was go down this way she won't come there don't trust me just keep going and I kept going and I followed him and I fucking all be damned if I got the van. He said, shut the van lights off, turn the van off. He said, come over this way. I'll show you where the house is. He says, go through there. The dog's in a bar. Get some water. He said, go have a drink of water and just calm down. Take a break for five, ten minutes. And let the cop wait till she goes. And this is what these people were telling me. So you don't have any lies about me. Why did you kick me on the age? Like, man, I what Mr. Riedel said. Mr. Riedel is a goof. He passed Kenneth Oakley with a 31% and he failed. I don't fucking care if Kenny's dead. He's not dead now, is he? So he can fuck right off, period. If he doesn't like the way I talk. The truth is still the truth. Did I rape Harmony? No. Did I touch Crystal Olsen? Oh, of course I tickled Crystal Olsen. I tickled Harmony. I poked Harmony a couple times in the side. What are you girls doing? Oh, go to bed, Ian. What are you doing here? I said, well, what are you guys doing? Your covers are all over the floor. Are you all right? That's why I originally went in there. I was going to the bathroom and their covers weren't even on their bed. And I was like, what the fuck, you fucking prick? And so I went in there. Did you guys, did Dad molest you guys? That's the first thing I asked him. No. And then I said, well, you okay, Crystal? And I put her belly. I'm sorry. And she goes, no, you can't touch me. I said, I'm not touching you, honey. I just, oh, it's you. I said, I thought it's Gwen. No, it's me. And I said, Harmony, where's dad? Who did this? I don't know. Go to bed. And I was like, okay, well, I just, why are you guys not have no blankets on? Why are your blankets over there? I said, and I put the blankets on him. I went to bed. Oh, holy, you people are making issues. You're lying. So you're going to go to 118th Avenue, mom. You're going to get a hold of Shirley Telep. Now, Shirley Telep's going in the ground if she doesn't stop the stupidity. Okay, now I went in. I had to pawn my fucking guitar because Billy James and I'm drunk again and I'm a loser and fucking stupid because he won't listen to me. If he listened to me, we'd have lots of work. Things would get better for him. He'd even get healthier, but he won't listen to me. He thinks everything he does is right when he's not and he won't admit when he's wrong. And I'm tired of people that are like that. Just admit when you're wrong. You make a wrong, then go good for it. You know, and sometimes I help out when I can. But man, I'm telling you, man, look at the house, mom. Brand new home. I'm moving into a new home in less than a year. I'm in a nice place. You've seen your sitting. You're clean, mom. You're biblical. You're clean. You will always have a place to stay, man. You'll always have a spare room. You do laundry. Come for a ride, my Lexus, man. You wait. You see how good things are going to be. But the money is coming into my account. You guys are going to start getting money from me. And if you do not start fucking doing what you're supposed to be doing, because parents don't just sit there and oh well, I don't have bad credit, mom. I don't have any credit. I've never got credit before. I don't have a bad record from anybody. Nobody, even motor vehicles won't give me a driver's license. Well, you had an impaired 29 years ago. Sorry, mom. See, that's what did grandpa tell you? The justice of the peace. The statute of limitations runs out in seven years. So they got no claim on me. So why can't I have a fucking license then? I paid for my license and they won't give me my learner's license. I passed the test too, by the way, too, pops. I passed it on the second go around. I nailed it 100%. Boom. 100%. Boom. I want my driver's license to my new address. And guess what? Because I like you people and I'm trusting you not to phone the police on me because if you do that, you both are done immediately. I won't stop until you're both in the ground. So, 
you're gonna go right here, suite number 104-106-07-104 Street, Northwest Edmonton, T5H, Trevor 5 Holloway, 2 Werbisky C, 2 WC. And you are gonna help me. If you do not help me, or and if you don't know how you can help me, then you're gonna phone me at 780-224-7615. And if you're telepathic and you can hear me swearing at you in my head, then you know they're abusing me and that you need to fucking act immediately. And you go to the police and you don't stop until you, you say to them, you listen to me, my fucking son does not lie. He knows what's going on. And you people are purposely doing this. Fuck you. And it's time to take the money from the Trudeau family. All that fucking money they're hoarding. And they're not doing fuck all for the environment. Oh, well, we're meeting our quota and everything. No, well, where's my money then? Where's the 10 million the government owes me? Fucking Italian scumbag. Fellagio, Robert Freeman, where's the 10 million they owe me? Well, we take care of you. Well, where's the money then? Put up or shut up. You understand? See, mom, that's how it is. In less than two years, I'm going to own Lexus. Why? We all have access to it, mom. We all have the access to this knowledge. We all have the right to, to live there. It doesn't matter how bum-ass we are. We have the right to get up to that level. But it's you people that are kicking me down. And that if you keep kicking me when I'm down, I'm going to start kicking on you people. And I'm going to kick you right out of the earth. So you can't kick on me anymore. Do you understand? I want the money that you owe me. I want the 5000 you owe me. You stole money from me and you're going to pay me back. When you steal from your sons, you pay back seven times the amount you stole. You stole $5,000 from me, mom. You know that. Seven fives are 35. That would be $35,000. $35, well, you chose to steal the money from me and then lie to me. So now it's 35000 that you owe me. See how good this is. See how, well, no, legally, mom, legally, you, well, we needed the, I don't give a fuck, man. Jim was married to somebody else. You didn't know that Jim was married to two other people. Mom, I have brothers in Whitehorse, half brothers. I have half brothers all over the place. Jim had two or three other women on the go at the same time he was with you. And you didn't know. Come, mom, come on, man. You can't be that gullible. I know Eli looks just like me, doesn't he? Well, then stop trying to turn him into an ogre. You can't beat up on Eli. If Eli's not disobeying the law, you know what happened when I, today, I seen two huskies. They came down, they ran right in front of me and lifted their asses right up in front of me. And I patted on them and lay down. They both laid down, come here. And they both jumped up and started hugging on me. How is it that a husky dog can love me and be that forgiving of me? Yet you guys are sitting there making up lies about me. I, any husky dog, I walk up to any husky dog, snap my fingers, he'll turn right over and bend its ass up in the air. And I'll scratch it back in. And then lay down, and lay down, and it'll come up, and I'll go like this, and, and it'll lick my chin. And I, I'm telling you, man, if you do not believe me, then try reading the book of Matthew. It's just simple. I didn't ask you to read the whole Bible. Mom, read the book of Matthew. Even the little whelps want crumbs that fall from the table. What do you think the bread of life is? The little doggies like salt. They like licking penises. All children, all parents that have kids play with themselves. And all little dogs are attracted to the kids to play with themselves because they want to lick from the kids. And what are you going to... Arrest me because I told the truth. I was a little boy, angry. You'll learn pretty soon. Employment. And look at that, man. Brand new place. Look at that kitchen, mom. Be having dinner in that place, man. But you need to respect me. We'll start with the 5000 that you stole. Pay that back. Because if nobody else is going to give me the money, then mom, no. I need to start with somebody. And the first people that need to learn to respect me are you people. Because I'm not getting respect from anybody, including that fucking nitwit lawyer, Tanya Shapka. First time I seen her, I said, Tanya, 
when you need to come home with me. Please, we need to talk for a while about some stuff. I'm, And she's like, no, I'm not ready to come and lay down with you. And I'm like, you have to. And I'm like, please come with me. And, and then seeing that I'm up there and I got people stomping all over the floor. Please do not stomp. Anyways, I got to go, Mom. I'm going to be watching the news. Love you guys lots. And have a good week. Hope everything's okay for you, Pops. But I'm just telling you the truth. If you guys don't want to help me, then I'm going to phase you right off the earth. You haven't earned your right to run down to Mexico while I'm suffering every year, while you're sitting there just stuffing your face full of my money, Edgar. My money. Everything you got comes from me. Diego Sanchez won all those fights. And was he the champion? And why wasn't he the champion? Because Diego beat up 23 people. Diego the Nightmare Sanchez. MMA, mixed martial arts. Don't tell me you do not know who he is. Personal bodyguard. My personal bodyguard that looked after you guys in Mexico. That I oversaw what happened, Mom. And I saw you. And I beat up those two people. They're harassing you. I beat them up. So remember that. <laughs>